Hey, what's up? My name is Human Bahrami and today I'm going to show you how to quickly create a pyramid of Egypt inside of 3D Studio Max using Typhoon plugin. I put the download link in the descriptions. So let's just get started. Here's the final result and uh, I really like this model, really amazing. And I just wanted to have this model if you just want to just create it in your own shots, in your own projects, with your own lighting. So. Uh, so let's just get started. Uh, at the first, I'm gonna create a pyramid shape right here and just drag it. There we go. So here's the shape, the basic shapes. And then here's the type flow added here. I'm gonna create it there. Go into modifier and just open the editor. So here's the type flow tab. And in this point, I'm gonna create a birth. And as we know, we just wanna create some kind of uh, voxel shape on my pyramid. So at this point, I'm gonna uh, import my birth voxel node here. So it asks me which object you wanna voxel on it. And I would say uh, it's my pyramid. So I'm gonna select pick and then select my pyramid. So here's my pyramid added to the source. And here you can see there are lots of dots added on my pyramids, but there's nothing else. So, so what we want to add instead of those dots is lots of boxes. So I'm going to go here and create a little box here. Doesn't have to be so small or big, just make it. And I'm going to go back into my editor. And in this point, I want to add a shape node to make all those dots turn into boxes. So here, I'm gonna add it here, and it just asks me what do you wanna add, and I'm gonna select add as selected. I'm gonna select my box, and then this tab called add selected. Okay, now there's a triangle first one, I'm gonna remove that. All right, now as you can see, there's nothing going on here. I'm gonna go into the display node, and at this here, I'm gonna change it to geometry. So as you can see, here's my pyramid that just scattered lots of boxes like this. So in the setting of voxels, I'm gonna just decrease this value, voxel sizes. You can see as I decrease it, the resolution gets higher and the boxes start to get smaller and looks more realistic. So here's my basic shapes. So the next step is to just add a rasterize node, which just make a little bit of distribution on my boxes. So uh, let me just drag it into my shape. And if I just started to play with the values, you can see, let me just go, oh, there we go. You can see how it just start to modify my boxes and voxels. It just all depends on you how you want to create that. I can just deselect this one to have um, to just change parameters in their own way in X or Y or Z. Uh, I'm gonna make the Y to zero and X to zero point zero two and the Z to 0 0.3. These are just values I thought could be great. And next step is add a little bit of rotation to the boxes to make it a little bit of noise. So uh, the next no node is a rotation. So I'm gonna add a rotation in my node. So you can see we have a huge amount of rotation on my boxes. So in here, in my rotation tab in interpolation, and I'm just gonna decrease the value to maybe 0.1 or maybe less. Let me know. Okay, it's looking better. Okay, so the next step is just to play with the settings. Uh, I'm gonna go into my voxel base again and play with the values to see how it's just gonna look the best. So at this point, let me just change the color of the boxes at the display geometry. Uh, I'm gonna select this one and just change the valley to something like, more looks like uh, bricks. And okay, now let's just play with the settings. We have the basic shape of our pyramid. And let me go into my voxel. 
and just play with the details. I'm just making a little bit smaller. Just don't make it too low. It's just try to create lots of boxes and might slow down your computer. And okay, let me just go into rasterize and see what we get. Oh, let me just fill these areas just a bit. It's just all up to you how you want to manage that. So there is one other things it could do is to add another box which just give it a little bit more of randomization and make it a little bit better. So let me let's create something box like this and at this shape tab I'm gonna add this one as well. So there we go. On the voxel on the birth voxel tab there are lots of other things you could do. Here's one of them is jitter which is gonna create some kind of randomization on your nodes which is really interesting I like that it's just not about creating the exact shape of pyramids of Egypt it's just all about to create your own shapes it could be anything it's just gonna give you lots of possibilities inside of this plugin so I'm gonna just give it a little quick render so to rendering this model what I will have to do is just into the so I have to come into editor and just add a mesh node which allows me to have them in the render. So I'm going to use V-Ray plugin to render this V-Ray. So I want to turn off my ambient occlusion. So I'm going to put it into advanced mode and just take the ambient occlusion, which just allows me to have a little bit of a black shadow shade between the boxes to make it a little bit more uh, realistic in my render. So I'm going to give it, point it to 720p. And I want to create a simple plane on my ground. And in my lighting tab, I want to add a simple V-Ray Sun. Just put it in. Yes, create a V-Ray Sky Map. Just put it a little bit. And just go into Modifier and decrease the value because by default it's too high. I want to get it to 0.1. And let's just hit F9 or shift Q to see the result. So as you can see, my lighting is still too high. So I'm going to stop that, change it to 0 0.05. And let's just re-render this. And let me just go ahead and give a simple material. Uh, just a simple Dirt looking material, just a little bit yellowish and it's not too much saturated. And I'm gonna apply it to my tie flow and to my ground as well. So let me just decrease my lighting a little bit more. Maybe 0 0.03. And my pyramid doesn't have this material, let me reassign that as well. So let me just have a quick render. There we go. Now you can see we have our basic shape, which is looking cool. And if you wanna just add more of these pyramids, you can just simply go into the Typhoon Editor again and make more of these pyramid shapes around your space. Uh, let me just create this here. The real, so the pyramids of Egypt have this kind of looking. Oops, I'll just scale it down a little bit, push it a little bit further, push it a little bit here. And in this area on the shape, I'm gonna reassign this on the box, so sorry, on the birth box, I'm gonna add these two pyramids as well. There we go. Easy. So now you can see we have three pyramids just like so. And let me just re-render this. We can just hide these two boxes which we had. So I'm gonna hide them. And let's just re-render this. Voila. So there it is, looking cool. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and uh, just feel free to ask me your question in the comment section below and 
I would be really appreciated to support my channel and hit the subscription button. I'm gonna start to create new stuff in my channel about 3D Studio Max, Unreal Engine, and sharing my experience. So, until next time.